Find out why bees love to follow cars and find out the ridiculous thing that happens when two queen bees get together. Did you guys know that bees following cars is a big thing? Yeah, it's true. Queen bees love getting into cars. Why? Maybe it's because they like air conditioning? We really have no clue. Back in 2016, Carol Howarth of Sheffield, England found out the hard way. She came back to her car looking like this. She was surprised to find thousands of bees hovered around her trunk. The swarm of roughly 20,000 bees were most likely looking for their queen bee. But really, officials had no clue because they couldn't find the queen bee. So beekeepers cleared out the car and Carol was on her way. But what happened afterwards? They kept on following her. They came back just a couple days later, except this time they finally found the queen bee. She was hidden somewhere in between the wiper blade on the trunk. The same thing happened to a Costco employee in Canada. John Hildenbrandt had heard that bees were swarming his truck in the parking lot while he was inside Costco working. There's really no apparent reason why they picked his truck out of all the cars in the parking lot. The reason they stopped on the truck was just a coincidence. And what's the proper response? Yes, call the local beekeeper. Our natural reaction to a swarm is often panic, but that's the wrong move. Trying to exterminate bees will only make things much, much worse. We can keep on giving you stories of bees following cars, but really it's all the same story almost. The drone bees just follow their queen bees anywhere she goes. If you just Google queen bee cars, you may just be surprised at how many cars bees follow around. The real question is, why do bees do this? Well, the answer is really quite simple. Swarms of bees are actually a sign of a healthy, thriving hive. It's the hive's way of splitting off. Once a hive has reached capacity, the queen bee will leave the parent hive in search of a new home except she'll take roughly half of the hive with her. During her search, obviously she'll get tired and she's got to find a place to sleep. And oftentimes that somewhere is in or on a car. Wherever she chooses to rest, that's where her swarm will form. What they'll do is they'll stop and cluster around the queen to protect her. Then they'll send out scouts to go and keep finding suitable areas to call home. The queen bee is the heart and soul of the colony. She's the reason for nearly everything the rest of the colony does. How do bees know where the queen bee is? Well, she has her own scent. She has her own pheromones that the worker bees recognize. How are queen bees chosen? Well, sometimes accidents do happen. In the case above, sometimes queen bees just decide to leave because it's gotten too crowded in the hive. And like we said earlier, only half the hive will leave. Sometimes a queen will accidentally get killed for whatever reason, or maybe she's just getting old. For the case of old age, it's time for them to get a new queen. The process of royal succession is similar if the queen is dying of old age. As she ages, she produces fewer pheromones. The decline in pheromone concentration signals to the workers to start building queen-sized cells in the hive. The hive basically chooses female eggs at random and relocates them into bigger queen cells. If the queen is still alive, she herself lays the eggs of her potential successors into these cells. There are three types of honeybees. Drones are the males and they hatch out of unfertilized eggs. Workers and queen bees are both females and they come out of fertilized eggs. What separates the workers from the queens is the way they're raised. The potential queen larvae are fed better food than the worker larvae called royal jelly. Technically, worker larvae are also fed royal jelly in the first three days of their lives, but queen bees are kept on it, whereas worker bees are not. This allows queen bees to mature faster and become queens. The cells are then capped, the larvae create pupae and transform into queens. So check this out. If you're a queen bee, you want to be the first one to develop. The first potential queen bee to emerge from her cell as an adult will sting the other developing queens to death in their cells before they hatch. 
if two queen bees emerge at the same time, then the rival queens will have a battle royale. Yeah, you guys know what happens here. Who knew bees are ferocious and ruthless? This is why you do not mess with bees because they literally do not care and will do anything. If you mess with bees, you better hope you can run for a long time. And whatever you do, don't jump into water. They'll just wait for you. How will the bees know you're down there? As you exhale underwater, bubbles rise to the surface and the bees recognize the chemicals in your breath. Here's another interesting fact. Queen bees are the only bees who don't die from using their stinger. Also, did you know that honeybees don't know how to make honey when they're born? They have to be taught by older bees. Really? So how'd they figure it out in the first place? Watch this next video to find out animals who are evil geniuses.